What's up, guys? This is Brad at Hourglass Fab. I hope everybody is doing fantastic. Thank you all for watching another video. Today we're going to be talking about tungsten selection. Tungsten selection when it comes to AC versus DC, as well as inverter versus transformer machine. We're also going to be doing a giveaway, and I'll be announcing the winner of the giveaway on next week's video. We'll get into that later, but let's get into the tungsten selection now. start this video off right with a nice glass of water. Listen guys, when it comes to tungsten selection, things can be a little more complicated than just pulling a piece of tungsten out of a pack, sharpening it, and throwing it in your TIG torch. Depending on what type of person you are, maybe you want to explore and be more scientific and really dive into the science behind welding in general and try and get the absolute best results you can. Me, myself, that's what kind of person I am. I like kind of investigating whatever I am diving into, whether that's photography, videography, cinematography, or that's welding, or CNC stuff, CAD, CAM. I want to really learn the ins and outs so I can utilize that platform of whatever it may be as best as I can. So there are plenty of people out there that have used one tungsten to do all jobs for a long time, and if that works for them, fantastic. But if you're searching for more or maybe thinking that something could be better for you, stick around for this video. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know I like to post a lot of stuff. I have a lot of DMs and stuff asking how I do things. And I like to reply to those people and try and help them. And the reason why I started a YouTube channel was basically for that specific reason. I want to make a difference. I want to be able to deliver information that I've learned and pass it on to the next person and help them hone a skill that maybe they had a harder time doing by themselves without a little bit of guidance. And if that's something that you're interested in, hit that like button, guys. Subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate it very much. All right, guys, so enough of the babbling. Let's get to the point and jump right in. There we go. CK Worldwide, guys. Peter over at CK Worldwide hooked us up with some tungsten today for this video, so thank you very much, Peter. If you guys don't know who CK Worldwide is, go check them out. So let's start with something pretty basic. We're just gonna go over the color bands, what they are, what's inside of them, and we'll get in more detail about each specific tungsten here in just a few seconds, so bear with me. First up, this is a pure tungsten, green band, 332 diameter. 332, 2% thoriated tungsten, red band. 332, 0.8% zirconiated, white band. 332, 1.5% lanthanated tungsten, gold band. This is a tri-mix from CK called laser, chartreuse, or like a lime green band. And then you have 2% lanthanated, blue band. 2% seriated, gray band. Pink multi-mix tungsten, from Weldpour. Let's kind of go into a little more detail about what each tungsten does, its pros and cons, inverter versus transformer, AC versus DC. Let's get into that now. Tungsten melts at 6,192 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 3,400 degrees Celsius approximately. Now, tungsten stands up to a lot and that's why it's used in a lot of different fields for a lot of different reasons. When you take a stick of tungsten and you want to mix in a, sp a small percentage of something else into it, say thorium, to make 2% thoriated tungsten, you would need to take 2% of thorium and introduce it into this 7 inch long stick of tungsten, which is pretty difficult, it seems like, at least to me, to be able to distribute that perfectly evenly through this entire thing so every time you break it off, every time you sharpen it, and you use up the life of this tungsten, every single arc start is consistent with the next. That's pretty crazy. So according to most people, 2% thoriated is radioactive tungsten. 
Now grinding 2% thoriated without a respirator on can cause cancer. At least that's what everybody says. Now I'm not 100% worried about it because this Coke can can cause cancer in California. Now tungsten in particular, the multi-mixes and uh, like the E3, the tri-blends, the, um, the tungstens that have multiple things mixed into them basically make them an alternative to 2% thoriated because they're a very hard tungsten. Now the hardness of the tungsten comes from the elements that are put into the tungsten to replace thorium. Why do you want to harden tungsten? Well, hardened tungstens are important because you want to maintain that sharp tip, whether that's DC or AC. Now, AC side of things with a hardened tungsten really helps the tip from disappearing. Now, it might create nodules and deform the tip, but at the end of the day, that tungsten tip is going to remain there, and it's not going to just disappear like multiple other types of tungsten would. Now, speaking of soft tungsten, that would be like your pure or your seriated which was made for transformer machines with sine wave that didn't have a balance adjustment, so you couldn't really change the electrode positive or electrode negative that was changing the formation of the tip of the tungsten. What you would do is you would ball that tungsten, so it would be strong enough to hold up without breaking or blowing out the end of the tungsten when you would light up initially. Now today on inverter machines, we don't ball tungsten, at least, you know, you're not supposed to ball tungsten on inverter machines. When you can adjust your balance and you can reduce that electrode positive, you have a lot less heat coming into the tip of your tungsten. Therefore, you don't have the, the deformation going on or the nodules being created on the tip of the tungsten. So 2% seriated has a gray band that contains 2% of cerium, 98% tungsten. And that cerium is evenly distributed out through the entire length of that tungsten. Cerium is meant to ball, same side of pure tungsten that's also meant to ball, and those are two tungstens that are used on old transformer machines. This is the emergency broadcast system. This is not a test. Repeat, this is not a test. Stay tuned for further instructions. Already packing, come with me. I'm not really asking, we'll get away to a place where we don't know. This is what we got going on in the giveaway. We have a three piece set of extremely nice acrylic turned back caps from Shea Spec. You can hit him up on Instagram at Shea Spec or go to his website, ShaySpec.com. He does all these back caps and shift knobs. We have a Hourglass Ingenuity TIG torch holder. This is my design, last one that I have in stock. Neck of your torch will lock in between those two detents there. 90 pound pool magnet. FUPA 12 cup from Michael Furick. Number 14 cup from Michael Furick. Number 18 cup from Michael Furick. Two 10 packs of tungsten from Weld Porn, the multi-mix pink band. A couple of sticks of laser from CK. Lots of cool stickers, CK Worldwide, Furick stickers, Shea Spec stickers, Hourglass Ingenuity stickers, CK shirt two CK Worldwide hats, three flaps from Empire, three flaps from Benchmark, a Tech South PowerPoint handheld tungsten grinder, and we have Paul over at ZT Fab throwing in a TIG welding rod holder. This is a stainless rack that you hang on your wall. I'll show a picture of it right now. So that's what we got going in the giveaway, guys. We have Paul from ZT Fab that threw in, Shay from Shea Spec that threw in, 
Peter from CK Worldwide that threw some stuff in here, and myself. So if any of my subscribers here on YouTube wanna enter the giveaway, down in the comment box below, just comment hashtag HourglassFab. I'm gonna be picking somebody randomly. There's actually gonna be five prizes in this giveaway. I'm gonna get all this stuff and separate it from number one to number five, and I'll be picking five people. This giveaway is gonna be split across Instagram as well as YouTube. I just hit 20K over on Instagram if you wanna follow me on there, at Hourglass Ingenuity. Like this video guys, subscribe if you haven't already. This is a super cool giveaway going on. We always have a lot of really cool Instagram giveaways going on on Instagram. This is my first YouTube giveaway, but don't worry. We're gonna make sure that we get you guys some cool stuff throughout the journey. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video. Let's get back in to tungsten selection. You don't have the balance adjustment, so you can't reduce your electrode positive, so there's a lot of heat that is being inputted into the tip of the tungsten, therefore it's deforming it. 2% thoriated, if you've ran it, is an extremely good tungsten for steel, stainless steel, anything reactive. Now, I don't necessarily use 2% thoriated all that much, but it is a good tungsten. Maybe it's radioactive, maybe it's not. It has great low amp starts on DC, and it maintains a sharp Point extremely well. Now a tungsten that can really hang on AC and DC quite well and take a ridiculous amount of abuse is going to be 2% lanthanated. Now there's a lot of videos out there that explain and show that 2% lanthanated holds up a lot better under the same stress, the same amperage, same arc length and time on as multiple other tungstens, but it just remains so much more true. It might deform a little bit and create a, a nodule or misshape the tip, but it doesn't disappear and it holds its shape better than the majority of tungsten that are out there right now. So if you're looking to do steel aluminum and just have one color band of tungsten in your toolbox all the time, I would definitely think about going with 2% lanthanated, at least trying it out. One point that I really wanna get across here is when it comes to tungsten, it's really preference. Whatever you think works best for you is going to work best for you. And I just wanna kinda of give you my opinion on different tungstens and what they work for. And maybe you can decide, I wanna try that, and then that ends up working for you. And it's different than what somebody else wants to do. So there's no problem with running whatever color tungsten that you want to run, everything just changes a little bit, maybe for the best, maybe for the worst. Now when it comes to a gold band, that's 1.5% lanthanated, and that is the same as 2% lanthanated, except for it has half a percentage less of lanthium introduced into it. But it seems like it makes a huge difference, at least to me. I don't really like 1.5% lanthanated and how it works, but you know, you add another half a percentage of lanthium to it, and now there's 2% lanthanated tungsten with a blue band, and I love 2% lanthanated tungsten. So there's where the preference things come in. The multi-mix tungsten that I talked about earlier is basically a multi-mix tungsten. So it's the same style tungsten as your E3s and your tri-blends, etc. They have different things that are mixed together making up a tungsten. And typically, when those are mixed together for these tungsten types, it makes the tungsten a lot harder than the soft tungsten. It more so resembles thoriated tungsten like we mentioned before. So why do you want a hard tungsten when you're welding? Well, for one, you want a hard tungsten when you're welding because you want that point to be maintained. The erosion rate on the end of the tip is important. And some have a you know worse of an erosion rate than others. And the tip on the end will stay sharp longer than other types of tungsten, depending on what's in them. So whether it's on AC or on DC, having tungsten with hard characteristics is a plus because you can maintain that sharp tip through different amperage ranges, which are still going to give you that precise arc on DC. And then on AC, it's a good thing to have because that tip is gonna to wanna to deform depending on what your amperage is running. And either that tip will disappear and just blow off into the puddle or it will stay there and it'll sl slightly change and create nodules, but the arc will stay pretty close to stabilized. Depending on what tungsten you're running, sometimes maybe your arc's gonna wonder because it's bouncing off of those nodules in the puddle and now your arc's all over the place and you can't really maintain that really precise puddle placement. 
So another 2% thoriated tungsten replacement could be laser. That tungsten is made by CK Worldwide and it has a chartreuse band color. It's very stable, has a stable arc, maintains a stable tip, is absolutely fantastic when it comes to multiple restarts because it was designed more so for robotic welding. And then you have 0.8% zirconiated. It's uh, supposed to ball up easy. I'm not a zirconiated fan. I don't use that tungsten at all. Um, it's supposed to hold up well to a lot of amperage. Um, it doesn't spit or throw anything into the puddle. So they say when you're trying to do um, anything that's gonna have x-ray and contamination has to be really minimized. So I'm not a huge fan of zirconiated. I absolutely do not like how it runs and that's just my preference. The main tungstens that you're gonna see out there, the main tungstens that you're gonna use is gonna be 2% lanthanated, a trimix, and 2% thoriated. And maybe if you're on an old transformer machine, pure. All right guys, so I don't wanna to get too technical, too scientific here. Just giving you guys some input from me on the topic of tungsten. Like I said, most of the time it's gonna be 2% thoriated, 2% lanthanated. You're maybe you'll get a trimix in there or an E3 or some type of multi-mix blend tungsten. I really like the pink bands from Weldporn. I use those on steel and aluminum all the time. All right guys, so if you're new to welding, just getting into it, or just want to switch something up, Go grab some single sticks of different kinds of tungsten and see if you like their art characteristics. If you want to enter into my giveaway two times, be sure to go over to Instagram and follow along with the rules there. Other than that, thank you guys again for watching a video and I hope everybody has a good day. If you have any questions, DM me, comment, shoot me a message on Instagram. I'll get right back to you guys. We'll see you later.